Both sides were desperate to atone after letting handy leads slip the week before. The Kangaroos had wielded the axe and the inclusion of Ben Spade proved spot on early. Running hard, Spate. That's the way to start as well. Looking to find form, Lindsay Thomas laid a good tackle, setting up Sam Bright for North Melbourne's second straight goal. And he did everything right. Drew Petrie was again looking ominous in the air, but the player adding the most spark was Spate. Runs inside 50, kicks toward goal. This is an amazing start. After a week of soul searching, Port Adelaide was struggling to slot a goal. It finally came courtesy of the mercurial Daniel Motlop. Motlop in a one on one. Yeah, no. Yeah. That was followed up by Justin Westhoff, who beat the defenders and pulled Port to within 18 points. Well, he's having blinders all year. The momentum was heading the power's way. Chad Corns got a confidence booster. Corns! Big one. But the run was halted by another round six interchange infringement when Westhoff stepped over the line. That led to a certain Kangaroos goal. 14 point lead. I can argue all you like, it's a goal. Motlop was getting a little frustrated. At the first break, his side trailed by 14 points before some smart work from North Melbourne's former basketballer Todd Goldstein allowed Brent Harvey to pounce. Sensational, Brent Harvey. Sure was sensational. Lachlan Hansen was causing trouble up forward. He converted and the Roos led by 28 points. Quarter rabble and North Melbourne's mojo rising. The game then went to another level when Harvey got hold of the ball and just kept going. Harvey has a bounce, wants to take them on, runs to 50, runs inside, a sidestep, another bounce, has the shot, oh baby! That's the one Brent Harvey's been looking for for a couple of years. At half time, the Kangas led by four goals. That quickly became five when Harvey scored his third. It's drifting a little, oh, I was never in doubt. The match kicked up a gear and it was port threatening. Motlop scored and then took exception to a North Melbourne fan's antics. Yeah, you've got to be, you, you can't do that. That's an idiot, he's an no, idiot. Yeah, he's got to go. He should be ejected for that. The fan took off, but Motlop remained to taunt his former team. And he's got four today. The margin down to 19 points in a free-flowing contest, but two steadying goals for the Roos were important. Liam Anthony got one. Huge kick for Anthony. Perfection. And Thomas got a breakthrough major. Lindsay Thomas, he's been iffy. Six goals, 16 coming into that kick. And he stares the moment down. When Andrew Swallow swooped, North Melbourne were back in control. Takes off. That's out of the copybook. The Roos were racing to their first win of the season and a rookie got in on the act. For a chance for his first goal. It was an ugly view for power coach Matthew Primus and things turned nasty at the break with the Roos 41 points up. Dean Brogan tried to fire up his teammates but there was no stopping the Roos. He goes, he flicks it, Hanson, he left it for Petrie to Hanson. Good goal. A big win on the way but after Hanson toe poked through he was in a world of pain after collecting the fence. The North Melbourne forward with nowhere to go and hurting his back. Concern in the coach's box, Hanson stretched it off. The Ruse stayed focused closing out a 60 point victory with a little showtime from Sam Wright to cap off their first win of the season. Handball option over the top, Wright outside of the foot. It's freakish. Well, gone are the days of centering the ball from the boundary. Jace, when you can do that, that is outstanding. The home side beating the power 18 25, 133 to 10 13 73. Harvey and Wright scoring three each for the Roos. Motlock finishing with four for Port Adelaide. Brett Clancy, Big Pond Sport.